back to the channel. Uh, weird intro, but I am on my way to get tattooed and I basically had to run out the house. Um, I was a little bit late, but I'm here, I'm on time, it's fine. Um, so, intro. Uh, I'm still a little bit sick, but I'm over the end of the cold, which is why there haven't been any videos lately. Um, explanation, reasons, that's it. Although I am interested to see what the pain will be like while sick. So, I'll see you in a bit. I need any more anyway. I've got to make the trip at some point. Yeah. This is a good excuse. Good old lot of bloody. Getting in my bulb. It is the next day now. Um, basically, the second I got home yesterday, I fell asleep on the couch. I woke up, had dinner, and then went right back to sleep. Because believe it or not, getting tattooed absolutely takes it out of you. Um, one thing I have noticed, the bigger the tattoo, the more inclined I am to just pass out for the night. It can be, I can get my tattoo at 9 o'clock in the morning, be finished by 1, I would sleep for the rest of the day. It just really takes it out of you. So I got this tattoo at the Golden Crow, which is in Adelaide, South Australia. And Cara Rose was the person that tattooed me. Um, basically I phoned up, um, almost a month ago now, phoned up, put a deposit down, and the day finally came, and I got it done. Um, it took about three hours. My session was at 10, we didn't really get started until a little bit later, 10.30, 11, and I'd have to say we finished at about 1 or 2, roughly, so I would count it about 3 to 4 hours which is, a, it's a decent, it was a big piece, and we had breaks in between as well, because it was painful as hell. Um, so I got the underside of my knee tattooed on my right leg. It is just a beetle, that's not particularly any beetle that kind of comes to mind, but the colour palettes, um, bring Egyptian feels to it, which, I'm a massive, um, ancient Egyptian fan, I love mythology around it, so I liked that it reminds me of that. Anyway, so I got that under my knee. I was planning on getting it on my thigh, but the placement fit better under my knee as opposed to anywhere else, so we kind of went with it, which in the end it's not too bad. I like the placement, so. On a scale of 1 to 10 in pain, this was one of the worst pains, one of the worst tattoos I've had. I don't know if that's because Kara kind of goes a bit heavy handed when she tattoos, or if that's just because it's near my knee and on a bone. Um, however, the other one on my other leg, my left leg, it didn't hurt nearly as much, but like I said, different two different people tattooed me, two different techniques. That's the gist. But I would have to say pain with this one is, would have to have been at least around a 7 or an 8. Definitely peaking at a 10, I have to say. Um, when she was doing the white and the highlights, um, I was in a lot of pain while she was doing the highlights. And I don't know if that's because my skin was red raw, I'm sick, um, what's going on. But basically, it was bad. <sighs> I hated everyone when I get tattooed. I hated everyone, especially when I was getting that done. So yeah, so it's the next day. My calf is completely swollen. It's burning hot under my pants, um, which is normal for a tattoo, for me at least. Um, so basically, I just use vitamin E cream on it. I don't have any set 
resume when healing tattoos. I just put it morning, night, and I clean it when I need to clean it, when it gets that crusty, at to that crusty stage. We all know the drill. If you've been tattooed, you know what I mean. If not, it gets crusty and disgusting, and you have to clean it every day. But it's fine. Only for like a week. After about a week, it generally settles down, so that's not too bad. So, all in all, that is me getting tattooed, my tattoo, my thoughts while getting tattooed, although I didn't really record much of it because I would have been swearing for most of it. It was bad. Um, anyway, like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Um, and have a good afternoon. Bye!